<coughs> this is the EvoTech phone holder for a quad lock and we're just going to install this now. Essentially I have got the vibration dampener, that does come separately but you do get the quad lock, the actual lock itself, you get all the bits and pieces um, and it looks like a fairly simple install so we'll just go over it now. So what it does is it goes on the two bottom um, handlebar mount bolts which is kind of cool and then whack them back. One thing that EvoTech could do better, which they don't do, is put torque specs on uh, the installation some other time, like for this. They don't put the OEM torque specs, which is kind of, can be annoying. And they do put their own torque specs up for like the spindle sliders and stuff like that, but it would be nice to have that because, yeah, it's a pain in the ass with the Yamahas. Uh, the MT-10 specifically, trying to get torque figures online is ridiculous without buying a Haynes manual. So I have to, have to basically call up the dealer a million times. <coughs> right, so these guys are replaced by longer, longer bolts. I mean, not sure, oh, Jesus, well done John. Not sure what the quality is going to be like on these, if they'll corrode or what, but we'll have a look. If I recall we're correct, oh fucking wow mate, you fucking retard. Jesus Christ, I'm going to just scratch the fuck out of them, fucking. So this left hand bracket, Please just stay on there without being a cut. So again, it's actually a really cool idea. I have to fuck about with stem mounts or anything. You can't get a stem mount on here anyway, like, but I just thought it was a cool idea. Now the torque spec for these lower handlebar bolts, sorry, the, the upper handlebar bolts, so these are not the ones underneath. These are 22 Newton meters from Yamaha. So I'm gonna assume that they're the same. And then you can kind of see how this is going on already. And we've got this piece and these two, <coughs> which are a four mil. Like a little crush washer here and essentially what you're going to do is put that in the forward position like this and we're not tightening anything down just yet i mean i suppose you could put it that way as well if you want to but that'll just kind of dip it down it'll look a bit silly so like this and just get that thread started and again we'll tighten everything down in a bit <coughs> and the other again the vibration dampener on this you don't get it with it you have to buy it separately but i really didn't want to damage my brand new phone so I just thought, I'm not going to risk it. Right, now these are started, I am going to tighten them down a bit, just so that I know that the angle and everything is correct and set. And then we'll tighten the handlebar bolts down themselves. Again, it doesn't say to use any kind of thread locker that I can see on the instructions, so we're not doing. Essentially, that's what these washers are for. Right, so as you can see, we're pulling these in. These are still loose, so again, just, just hand tight. Nothing too crazy, because they are brass inserts and obviously you want to undo that and make sure that the phone goes in and all that kind of stuff so now that we've done that just going to tighten the handlebar bolts down so again to 22 newton meters i mean again really simple install this and hopefully it's going to be very beneficial now what i would recommend is that anything with a dot on in engineering terms means these need to be torqued down first so yeah that's already to torque yeah they're already they're already torqued up so that's fine so we can just Carry on with this, there you go, there you go. Now, I do have a bit of a weird phone, that's why I've got the Flip 4. Well, essentially, it's just gotta go on like that. It's kinda cool, flopping about. <laughs> we'll see how the how the flippy flop does. I do want it horizontal, so I will sort that out in a minute, but I need to tighten this up. But I am gonna move that around to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna, definitely gonna try angling this a little bit differently, but there you go. This is just a, uh, a tough, speaking tough armor case with the universal lock mounted onto it, and this is not going anywhere. So, hopefully, a very good setup. A bit of a fine tune, and we'll do a video reviewing it at some point. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you very, very soon, sure. Until the next time, boys and girls, sort them out. See you soon. Goodbye.